So, I've done a few trips on my YT decoy, but I still don't feel like I've been to the mountains. So today I will try to go to the top of Peshtin, a 917 meter tall mountain located behind my mother's house in northern Norway. I've been skiing this mountain a lot in the winter time, so I'm really looking forward to trying this in the summer with a bike. And it's always refreshing stopping by nature's own water supply for a small drink. That's refreshing. It starts off quite hard, very steep and rocky sections, so I'm pushing and using walk mode a lot. And walk mode, it functions real good once you get used to it and you choose the right gears. I'm gonna let out a little bit of air from the tires because I think they're just too much air. I want more traction. So I let out about 5 psi, I think, from my rear tire, so. I'm guessing about 20 psi. I'm hoping that above the tree line things will get easier, and they do. I'm able to paddle for the most part, but small rivers, snow and big rocks make it hard. I have to do some zigzagging as well to be able to go up the steeper parts. What do I think of the decoy's climbing abilities? Well, I don't really have something to compare the decoy to, but I'm really happy with how the decoy performs going uphill. Overall, I think the bike is solid, the motor is strong, and once you get everything dialed in from the suspension, to how much air you put in the tires, to your personal settings in the E-Tube app, everything, it just makes for a really good ride. The last part going up is really rocky and there's also some patches of snow that were unrideable, at least going up on the bicycle. It's always a special feeling conquering a mountain, so I just enjoy taking in the view right. and getting ready to go down. Alright, let's take a look at the view! Nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. 